Quantum Big with Steve Bartilla. Brought to you by One of the things we all stress about is actually, well, at least, let me rephrase. One of the things I hope we are all stressing about is actually making that effective shot. Ethically, hitting our mark, all that good stuff. And as I know I sound like a broken record on this, but quite honestly, that all begins with how you practice. You practice like you actually hunt, you know what? Odds are better that you're going to make the shot. And while you're doing that, really think of your mental game. Me personally, I sit there once I'm sighted in. I hardly ever practice from 20, 30, 40, and even 50 yards. Instead, the only times I do is right before I head out. I'm going to go ahead and take a shot at 50 and a shot at 20. I make those, I feel confident, and I'm going to take the 50-yard shot first because I know I'm going to hit the mark on the 20-yard shot. So I'm going to go in with confidence brimming. Another thing that helps confidence immensely is to go ahead and use your most powerful weapon while you're practicing. And that is, rather than sitting there, oh, I'm just shooting the 3D deer target again, shooting it, oh, there's a breeze, let's wait. Hold, hold okay, now I'm on it. No, practice like you're actually hunting. The more you can mimic the real world hunting scenarios you're getting into in the deer woods, the more confident you are. And our confidence means everything. Me personally, when I come to full draw, if I have any doubt I'm going to make that shot, I will just learn to let down. Okay. But God help that target if I feel confident. If I feel confident, I'm going to drill it. And by making practice mimic real world hunting scenarios, this ain't new. And now I can tell myself when that 140 inch buck is about to step out in my shooting lane, this is no different than what I've done a thousand times in my own backyard. Once you make the shot, that's when everything really starts now. Okay. We calmly go through the sequences that occurred. We trust our initial reaction and then we start trailing. Blood trailing is like everything else. There's a whole bunch of different ways to skin a cat. I'm going to explain to you what works best for me. Unless I see that deer drop, my weapon is in my hands and I want to be tracking it during legal hunting hours. I can't bring the weapon with me during non-legal hunting hours. Over the years, there's been at least a half dozen to 10 different deer that I've gotten that second follow-up shot in by having my weapon, looking for blood, and then scanning up ahead before I take another step. Look for blood, scanning up ahead before I take another step. By repeating that, I'm, it's high stress, but I'm keeping myself ready the entire time to make that follow-up shot. Bring something like a toilet paper whip to mark that blood. Don't use flagging tape. None of us go back and rip up all the flagging tape we've used after a, after a three quarter mile track job. Now we got flagging tape. Toilet paper is a beautiful thing because it disintegrates on us. When all else fails and you lose blood, the first thing you do is you follow that trajectory. Where was that deer going? Especially if you know this land, always realize when given a choice, these whitetails, they want to head back to where they feel safe, especially if you've kicked them up once. Many times when you've just shot them, they have no idea what has occurred. But you kick that animal up and they know they have a predator on their tail. What do they do? You want to head to where you feel safe. So if you know where these daylight bedding areas tend to be, you know what? And that azimuth of those blood, those toilet paper, things you got hanging in trees are all headed oh and we're headed straight to a bedding area if you've lost blood you know what odds are really good that's where it's going to be if it's not and you can't pick up blood then you do the concentric circle thing but really focus on finding the blood you can marking it realizing 
what path that white tail is taking. They're not, it may seem like they're running wild. They're not. They're on a mission. He's or she is hurt and she is headed to a destination where they feel safe. Final thoughts brought to you by Huntworth. It all starts with practicing how we actually hunt and fine tuning our most powerful weapon into believing we're going to make that shot because we did it a hundred times at home with a very stiff crosswind at dusk from a tree stand or a ground blind or squatted behind a bush and we made it then we can make it now never underestimate the power of your mind palace it dictates so darn much of our success and failure it ain't even funny and it sure does when it comes to making that shot and tracking